Good evening. Welcome to this evening's edition of the Richard Urban Show at the Vision Channel. I am your host, Richard Urban, coming to you from historic Corpus Ferry, West Virginia. Tonight's episode is entitled The Twisted Gospel of Guk Jin Moon. Let's get started with our reading from the Chun Sung Gyang, the words of Reverend Sam Young Moon. If true love were perfected in the human world, what problems could there be politically, economically, culturally, and environmentally? In a world of true love, there is no problem that cannot be solved. It is a world filled with delight and the ideal in which freedom, peace, and happiness spread infinitely and eternally. The difficult issues which humankind is facing today can only be solved fundamentally through true love. So tonight we're going to be examining the Freedom Society lecture um, by Cook Jin uh, Moon that he gave in uh, 2012 extensively. And we'll be looking at it and uh, looking at the slides and I'll be commenting on it. So let us get started. Okay, this is the first slide of the Freedom Society lecture that was given in Washington, D.C. on August 1st, 2012, and in other, at other times in other locations around the world. So this is a pretty straightforward slide. It's the principle of creation. Uh, no problem with that. Okay, here's the second slide. So it's talking about freedom and responsibility. It's combining chapter one and chapter two about the commandment. So that's okay. So here we have the third slide. It talks about God, Adam, Eve, and the archangel. Interestingly, Cookton doesn't talk about what the fall actually is. He talks about these beings and talks about freedom and responsibility but he doesn't actually talk about the fall as a sexual sin. Um, that may be a subtle thing, but it's interesting. For instance, we read in Peace Message 10, True Father says, What was the single word, the one only commandment God gave to Adam and Eve, the first ancestors upon their creation? It was a commandment blessing to maintain absolute standard of sexual purity until God's approval of their marriage. We find the base for this in the Bible passage indicates Adam and Eve would surely die in the day they ate of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. If they had refrained from eating and observed heaven's commandment, they would have perfected their character and as co-creators stood with God, the creator as his equal. Furthermore, they would have taken dominion over the creation and become the lords of the universe, enjoying eternal and ideal happiness. And then the next paragraph Father says, The profound truth within God's commandment was lain hidden throughout history. Human beings must inherit and live by moral absolute sexual purity that is intrinsic to God's ideal for creation. That is, so they might perfect their individualized God's children and establish themselves as lords of creation. So I find that interesting, a subtle but interesting difference here. So he's starting to talk about freedom and responsibility without actually talking about um, the fall of man. So here in slide four, Kukchin mentions that Lucifer becomes Satan. That's true. But he doesn't explain that it was because of the sexual sin. You know, eating the apple or having premature sexual relationships with Eve with the archangel and, and, and um, Eve with Adam. So he talks about seduction. This is an indirect reference. Um, so he mentions that they became a slave of Satan. Well, that was really through changing the lineage. So here Cookchin mentions that they became a slave to Satan. And I'm going to put the link below if you want to just watch this video yourself. But it's sort of lengthy an hour and 20 minutes. So you could do that yourself. So they, Cookchin says they lost the ability to choose, became a slave to Satan and slave to your archangel, who dominated them. So here is the next slide where on the human fall, results of the fall. Human beings have lived under dictators and tyrants through most of our history. So now it takes a political uh, twist. And if you remember our reading at the beginning, Father is saying that the key to solving all political problems is actually restoring the fall of man, i.e., restoring blessed families. But here, Cookton takes a different turn. He's saying, actually, the results of fall are that we live under dictators and tyrants. 
You notice he's not talking about restoring the lineage. And God's work through prophets was to try to restore mankind back to the original Garden of Eden. Uh, okay, well, that's a true statement. But how is he working to do that? You see, there's a, a different um, twist taken here. So instead of restoration of lineage, he's talking about throwing off tyranny and tyrants. So you see that the message is becoming twisted here. So the core is not the blessing of God and God's words, but rather the core is now something else. We're throwing off tyrants. So we can see the seeds being planted here for the gun church. So I think this is really where we're getting to the root problem of the freedom society it's not looking at the core issue as a blessing as i said in my introductory um how do you say scripture but it's rather looking at the problem as having tyrants ruling over man so if you look and study in the chun sun gyung about freedom and responsibility you know, you're going to find out that freedom involves restoring family ethics. Chun Sung Gung 1153. At any cost and through any sacrifice, we have to settle the score with the adultery who offended our father. However, we cannot do it with guns and swords. Unless you have a greater love, there is no way to exact repayment from him. That is how I see it. Therefore, God can take the position according to the original principle of creation only after he is able to love his enemy. Why? is because originally at the time of creation, the devil Satan, who is the archangel, was supposed to be loved by God. Since he was meant to receive love eternally, he still has a firm grip on God and says, if you want to be God, you must establish a principle that I provide for you to love me even though I have fallen. Otherwise, you cannot stand in the position of the ruler of this universe. This is where the problem lies. This is truly a stunning truth. Shun Sun Gung, 1287. The unity of man and woman, convex and concave, is the place where God is perfected. That is where woman who is one half and man who is the other half are perfected. The land of settlement where the ideal of God's love can be perfected begins from the place where concave and convex unite and the relationship of the first love is established after marriage. The first love relationship of man and woman represents the place of perfection of the object partner of God. This is the core of the universe. When this moves, the entire universe goes back and forth in harmony. Is the base for the kingdom of heaven on earth and in the spirit world. Since this is origin of love, it is called the original palace of love. Among the many royal palaces, the central palace is called the original palace. This is the original palace of love, life, and lineage, and the origin of the kingdom of heaven on earth and in the spirit world. It is the beginning place of freedom, happiness, and peace longed for by humanity. That place is the royal palace for love, life, lineage, and all creation. An individual family, tribe, and a people are connected from there. You should understand that it is the original source and starting point of the King of Heaven on Earth and in Spirit World. It is also the origin of freedom, happiness, and peace. If a woman does not have a man, she is in absolute darkness. If a man does not have a woman, he is in absolute darkness. So this is the core of the universe, not having guns, not just that the, the archangel violated Adam and Eve and seduced them in some way other than sexual seduction, but that the basic freedom responsibility is to maintain the lineage. So here we see that the message that Cookton gives is a different message. And as I mentioned in the original quote in the beginning too. Okay, here we see slide number six, the human fall. So interestingly, instead of talking about the, the loss of lineage and peace message 10, we see that he's talking about ancient Greece, Rome, Freedom invariably dies. He's talking about the freedom that political freedom, but not recognizing, as we just said from the quotes in Chun Sun Gyeong, that actually Father's talking about the true freedom comes starting with the absolutely good sexual union of man and woman. So this is a political application. So you have to ask yourself, is this the application of principle or is it a deviation from the principle? How it's being presented. Here we see the next slide, number seven, populism and the death of democracy and freedom. So, Crichton's saying that in democracies, people may enact popular but foolish um, 
policies that ultimately result in loss of freedom. Okay, well, that may be a fair political analysis. But then again, is this really the core of the principle? And remember, in sanctuary church, this is being applied as the core of the principle. So you can see where the, how there's a very significant deviation here, where the principle suddenly becomes about overthrowing tyrants instead of restoring the fall of man. Slide number eight here is again about populism and death of democracy and freedoms. Again, perhaps a nice political analysis, but when you're putting this as a core theology of a church, uh, you may have a problem. If it's just a nice political lecture, that's one thing. But if you're saying that this is the core of the principle, you're off. So it's talking about how welfare policy used to, to gain, you know, um, popular support even in Rome, and that led to the rise of Roman dictators. Again, maybe a nice political analysis, but should this replace the core of the principle? Here you have slide number nine, again about populism and the death of democracy and freedom. More modern examples, Perón, Hitler, Hugo Chavez. I'm sure we could include even more modern ones now. So talking about how uh, social welfare spending in Europe has dragged all of Europe down. Again, okay, maybe a nice political now. We are at a point where we could choose to enter the kingdom of heaven. If we choose to unite with the Messiah and his teaching. But that also means we're at a point where we could fail to choose to unite with the Messiah. And in that case, the only thing that remains for all of us human beings is God's judgment. Here, he's talking about, Cook Jim is talking about judgment and bringing up this idea like of judgment and, pop, and, he, and it's often been brought up like at the sanctuary about the pop, apocalyptic view of judgment, you know, the four horsemen and so on, and the book of Revelation and smashing the pause wrestle, Psalm 2. Uh, 17, I believe that's right, 2 9. So the point is, when Father talks about judgment, it's judgment based on misuse of the sexual organ. So again, this is a different view. You see how it's varying away from the core truth of the fall of man to a different interpretation that involves judgment that's more externally based, i.e., by weapons or something like that. The purpose of the archangel in the Garden of Eden is what? To serve Adam and Eve, right? Correct? In a democracy where you have the people, which entity's responsibility is to serve the people? Means the archangel must be government. Kukchin introduces the concept that the archangel is government. But if you look at the Chun Sung Gyeong, you can't find that concept anywhere. In fact, Father worked with quasi-governmental organizations extensively, especially the Universal Peace Federation. So it's a very much a different concept than that of True Father and the Cain and Abel UN. You don't hear any talk, little or no talk, about the Abel UN, for instance, at the uh, sanctuary church. What is the fall? The fall of man is the process by which the archangel went from being the servant of the people of Adam and Eve to being the masters and owners of Adam and Eve. Where Adam and Eve no longer are free to choose. And that government makes all the choices for Adam and Eve. That is the fall of man. Okay, so here Kukchin says the fall is when the um, you know government is becoming as archangel dominant over men. But again, is this really the core of the principle? Okay, this is slide number ten. So here, Kukchin introduces the concept of the peace military and the peace police. You notice actually, if you read the peace messages, it's the peace kingdom core and the peace kingdom police force. But it's become only one thing, the peace military and the peace police. And Cookson says in the lecture here that the peace police is just a localized version of peace military. And in fact, I asked in August 2015 when Cookson and 
we're meeting with Cookton and Cookton and Pastor Hyungjin, and I asked about this very point. Hyungjin was silent, and Cookton said that the one was local and one was national. Well, that's plain wrong. This eliminates the non-military, very important Peace Kingdom core, which I pointed out in my other recordings, such as Christ's array to find his kingdom is not the rod of iron kingdom, is not a militarized force. So this is just absolutely plain wrong. It's an adulteration of what Father said to make it into a gun-centered message instead of centered on the Peace Kingdom core, which is not clearly non-military. So that, that's a really serious issue. That's not just a casual thing. It's, it's changing the message of Father's words. Where Father says, this is the time when you should beat your swords into plowshares. Sanctuary saying, you better get your sword. Get your AR-15. And again, I have no problem with you know having AR-15. I have one. But the point is, is that the core of the principle? Did Father just talk about peace, military, peace, police? Well, wait a minute here. We've dropped the educational component of the Peace Kingdom core. So that is absolutely a crucial point. Peace message number eight. This was a tour that I personally launched here in Korea. The three generations of the true family went to 40 nations to bestow the blessing. They have returned on this happy day victorious in a long journey. This recent world tour was all the more special because it involved the active participation of three generations of the true parents' family. It was like the advance of the Peace Kingdom core of heaven and earth. An army that was restoring a nation each day with the truth and blessing it was conveying. As the word and blessing were proclaimed simultaneously each day in 12 major cities of each nation, it brought the greatest joy to all humanity. The mobilization of the three generations of the true family is an event that will record history for eternity. It's something that no sane history could ever have imagined and is a miracle that will be praised forever as a victorious liberation for heaven. So. Here, Father's talking about in Peace Number 8, the army of the Peace Kingdom Corps of Heaven and Earth, clearly not a militarized army. And now I finally understood early on when Father proclaimed the Peace Kingdom Corps and Peace Kingdom Police Force in Korea, then he had army generals there. But he said, this is not the army of a nation. It's an army, a kingdom-building army. And in the Chun Sun Gyeong, Father says that when doing Tom Bun Kyok activities, that the army generals could organize effectively after a 40-day workshop because they have experience in leading people. It wasn't that they would organize weapons and send out people with AR-15s. And as I mentioned before, Father said in the speech in Washington, D.C., September 23rd, 20, rather, uh, 2005, that he would dispatch 36,000 elite youth to be in the Peace Kingdom Corps. It's clearly not a militarized force. It's a peace army, but it's an army of truth and the blessing. Cook Jim has it totally wrong. And this is a super serious deviation from providence. So here on this slide, Cook Jim says, Under the banner of universal peace for we will serve as peace police and peace military safeguard global peace. UPF inauguration September 12, 2005. Well, sorry, but that is wrong. Peace of message number one. On October 20th in the Ukraine, not September um, 12th, this was added later to the speech. During the World Tour of 2020 Nations inaugurating the Universal Peace Federation, I declare for the world the establishment of the Peace Kingdom Police Force and the Peace Kingdom Corps for the welfare and future of humanity. These two organizations will safeguard order and peace in the new world. Humanity is still spare the traps of division and self-interest, which are remnants of the air before the coming of heaven. These two organizations will be the vanguard for educating May and true love in the air after the coming of heaven. True love. But Cookjim says it's just a police, military, and police, please, peace. Sorry, peace, police. The purpose of this education will be to create a true individual, true family, true nation, true world, and true universe. I hope that you will put on new, true love armor in this new age. Be wise, brave activists in the Universal Peace Kingdom Corps for sake of humanity's future. So clearly, Although there may be some weaponized part of this force, as I've said many times, the peace police could well be the weaponized part. The Peace Kingdom Corps is clearly not a weaponized part, as I've pointed out many times. So um, either, I don't know if it's a problem of translation or Cookton has uh, misquoted this purposely or what, but I'd like uh, Korean speakers to get the exact 
wording of the speech, please, and uh, put it in the comments. But this is truly two different things, and one of them is the non-militarized force. So Cookton is wrong, wrong, wrong. Here's slide 11, talking about a society of conscience. Of course, that is a good thing. So that's why I'm doing my videos, because I'm following my conscience, not centered on true father's words, not some body or some church. So he says that you need private property, free markets, and competition. Well, that's okay, but Father says the key point is true families, the a true love and true lineage, life and true lineage. So this is a deviation from that. Here's slide 12. It's saying that um, the peace military is such as in the militia system in Switzerland. By the way, all translations I've read say peace kingdom core and peace kingdom police force. So I'm not sure where the peace military came from. Uh, Korean speakers, please weigh in on this with the correct translation. Um, peace. So we have the peace military. So the peace kingdom core, which is now militarized, now becomes the peace military. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I'd like to see the original Korean on that. The peace police, peace kingdom police force, now becomes the peace military applied locally. So um, that's wrong. They're two separate things, peace kingdom core and peace kingdom police force, as I've already pointed out. Okay, this, this is slide 13 about the government's role, that it should be small, less than 10% of GDP. Um, that's okay as a political concept. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Here's slide 14 about different visions for the ideal world. So, for instance, tyranny would be 100% government ownership, which is like communism and socialism, social welfare, democracy. Freedom society, 99.5% private ownership. Anarchy, 100% private ownership. So, um, that's good. Um, but again, is this the core of Father's teaching? So, as an application of Father's teaching, okay. Well, I mean, not okay, because it's actually claiming to be Father's exact teaching on Peace Kingdom Core is only a military Peace Kingdom military when actually it ignores or deletes the Peace Kingdom Core, which is the I would say the main and subjective part of teaching the truth, as I pointed out from Peace Message 8, teaching giving the blessing and teaching the truth. So that's a major deviation. So though this is an interesting political theory, you can't uh, cause a deviation of Father's message to say, oh, Father's message is just about military, and then drop the Peace Kingdom Corps, which was the main part of it. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, this is the final slide. Tango Gyo, the religion of the future. Who could teach Adam Eve not to eat of the fruit of welfare and other free government services? Ray pointed out that's not the main teaching the fall of man is not to eat of government services. Sorry. A religion explains the course of human fall and how it relates to today's society. Okay, that could be a political application, but again, it's twisted Father's teaching on Peace Kingdom Core, make it only a militarized force instead of two different forces, which is wrong. A religion that teaches that government stands in the role of the archangel. Okay, Father never taught that government stood in the role of archangel. You're not going to find that anywhere in the Chen Sing Gang of Father's teachings. As I pointed out repeatedly, Father actually want to make a quasi-government or is, it does not automatically stand in the position of the archangel. So the ideal world is based on the three blessings. Well, that's true. But the core of the three blessings is don't eat the fruit. That was the one and only commandment, as I pointed out in the uh, scripture earlier. So this is a serious uh, deviation. So true ownership, if you remember Father's eighth peace message is owner of peace, owner of lineage. True ownership comes from owning the lineage. It doesn't come from owning property like Cookton says. There's nothing wrong with owning property. Channel Gook certainly will have property and land, but that can never be the core. Restoring true families has to be the core. So I hope you've enjoyed tonight's presentation. I hope that it helps you to delve more into what the problem is behind the um, twisted gospel of sanctuary. This is Cookton's gospel, and it is being wholeheartedly preached on by Pastor Hyung Jin as well. It's not Father's gospel. It's not what Father taught. It's not the teaching of Father. 
Pastor Young is not father. Cook is not father. They're not God. We have to keep the word of the Lord's second advent. I hope you find this helpful. Do please like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at visionroot.org. And until next week, do be blessed. We love you. We appreciate you. And I hope you're having this great year, new year on the heavenly calendar. And that will be the most fantastic year in your whole life. The only possible better year is next year. This is Richard Urban. This has been the Twisted Gospel of Cook Jin Moon. And I hope you'll join us next time uh, for the Richard Urban Show at the Visionary Channel. Do be blessed and good night.